Well, the debate over rentable e-scooters, it goes to a whole new level tonight because some people now vandalizing dozens of them at Tempe Town Lake. And we sent Stanley Roberts to investigate in tonight's all new Cop Misbehaving. I work down by the lake, so I've been fishing these scooters out of the lake every once in a while. So the new bikes and everything, uh, people, I don't know if people are working for other scooter companies or if it's just people that want to throw them into the lake. I already showed you one man arrested for stealing and vandalizing Zap e-scooters. But now at Tempe Town Lake, there are some other shenanigans going on. I've watched people ride bikes off of the docks into the lake and just leave the bikes and swim out. Now the interesting part of a whole bike in the lake issue is this. I've pulled a zap. We just pulled a zap out of the lake like maybe two days ago. Two days now my years of experience, it's not uncommon to find rideshare bikes and scooters tossed in canals or other bodies of water. Which by the way, each one contains lithium ion batteries. So if exposed to water, it's a bad thing. Then there was this. So these had the wires cut? Yeah, these all have these wires. Someone is vandalizing Zap scooters and bicycles. Since we've launched and we're looking into it and who's doing it and we have a fair idea and trust me, we're going to find out. People are vandalizing our bikes. People are vandalizing our scooters. So not only are the cords being cut, but so are the drive belts. That one's all the way off. Someone is also cutting the bags that have the helmets attached. So you would think that with the cameras on the scooters, it's an easy case to solve, except for the fact. The people that were vandalizing our scooters, which we know who they are, we know who you are. We know you knew where our cameras were. The vandals managed to avoid the cameras, which are rolling 24 seven. But make no mistake, when they are vandalizing our property, it is potential harm and detriment to the riders and the citizens of Tempe. There is more to this story, so stay tuned. In Tempe, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family. If, if there is an issue you want Stanley to look into, drop him a note at caughtmisbehaving at azfamily.com. You can also connect with him on Facebook or Twitter.